Yeah, so Lee, I met my partner, Leah, who's absolutely in the room. Hi. She's right Hi, here. Leah. <laughs> Hi, Leah. 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 Dark matter. So this is going to be a quick presentation, but first let me welcome you to LeetCon 2019. Give yourselves a big round of applause. You made it! Now, my talk is going to be on cosmic catastrophe, comets to cosmic rays, because you've been lied to. Not only that, is that many of the esoteric researchers that are here that I invited, like one of my heroes, Laird Scranton, Robert Felix, which I guess is here today, I haven't met him. He's, He's here. Here. Good. Now these are people that have been diligently working on information that is suppressed. It's hard to get funding at university to go fly to West Africa or East Africa to talk to the Dogon. I'm pretty sure they don't have many hotels in that region. <laughs> but we'll hear what Laird has to say. So there's lots of new information in the last 10 years coming out. There are a lot of scientists like myself um, I actually believed in global warming about 11 years ago. I was like, I, I'll give in to it. And that's because for 12 years I was struggling with my sanity and barely interacting, interacting with media or multimedia. And in that time, the whole, all of humanity around me was all global warming, global warming. You know? And it was still warm in the summer and sometimes in the winter it got warm. So it's believable. And the reason that you can believe in whatever the media tells you is because when it comes to climate cycles, climate change, very tiny changes are, have very big effects on humanity. And if we had a VEI-8 volcanic eruption while I was speaking right now, 90% of the people in this room would be dead in a week. And that's not a fear, it's a fact. <coughs> because what would happen is the global temperature would drop 10 degrees, the sun would never rise for eight years, all crops would wither, and prior to that, in just 48 hours, there would be no more food or products in the store. The looting would have begun, and unless you're prepped and hiding, you're now a target, where people are going to come and take your stuff. And that's just one of many options that can happen at any time. And humanity, up till this point, has been, we've been living in a quiet period, a productive and abundant period. <coughs> it's called the Holocene Warm. And it, for those who don't know what that is, it's a period of time when we warmed up. So I'm going to give you some context. And I can do that right here. So my research, and if you have any questions for the next two days, my research is basically on the fact that we're living in an ice age currently. And what I was taught in college was that at the beginning of the Holocene warming, see this up here is global warming up here? <laughs> that the Ice Age ended here. That's what they told me. It ended right here. But when, once I got to grad school and I started looking at the last million years, to even five million years, what I realized was that the Emian was warmer than today. So at the last interglacial, they call it interglacial because it means we're still in an ice age. And that when we come up here, it's warm and we have cities and then we have Rome and we learn about sports, which are stupid. <laughs> hey, let your team beat up, let's go! Her. Winner! So the times of stupidity are here, 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 and here. <laughs> so humanity has only been dumb for about 40,000 years, but we've been getting destroyed for 400,000. And the reason I go back to 400,000 is because I'm a scientist. And the only facts I can find are the Sumerian king's list, which goes back that far. So that's how far I go back. So if we had kings 400,000 years ago, then there was stuff going on. Definitely cities, definitely rulers, definitely different, because we just found language right here. So these dumb people, for the last half a million years, they, they didn't know how to speak, but they had kings. So, so if you can't already, if you're not already picking up what I'm putting down, <clears throat> you should be questioning the narrative. So here's the global warming. Warmest time ever on Earth, except that 100,000 years ago it was warmer. 
by 1.4 degrees than it is today, <clears throat> according to satellite data, which is not made up, it's actual data. So around 120,000 years ago, it was warmer than now. Have you ever seen that in a newspaper? No. <laughs> yeah. And back here in the Holistinian, during the beginning of the Sumerian King's List, it was also warmer. Which leads me to believe that we probably had a society just as big of Homo sapiens back then as we do now. Just a lot less stupid. <coughs> and, and the reason that we keep getting taken out is because of these lines. So, I want to draw your attention to the rapid shifts in this lower graph here. Because in the last million years, we've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, you can count them out. We've had a lot of times when there has been major temperature shifts. Now, these are driven by a mechanism. And, and what people have been s struggling with for the last decade is to determine that mechanism. And anytime there's a new flavor of coffee or cannabis, you want it. And the new flavor is Micronova. It is. And, but unfortunately, it's just another tool in the toolbox. So like one of the tools I didn't have as a geologist was the electric universe model, so I, I didn't know I could be looking at plasma discharge. I didn't know that ancient man was actually drawing parat instabilities on the rock. People are like, no, that's a centipede. <laughs> no, they did this dance. <laughs> Which, it's not funny, Laird Scranton saw the Dogon do the dance. And they were, they were dancing the Squatter Man. Wow. Which was dancing in the Aurora. And they saw it back here. And they remembered it. Because I guarantee if the sun set and there was a big purple dude dancing, you would remember that. <laughs> right? And you'd tell your, you'd keep that alive. <clears throat> the problem is now we're so far down the line, um, we've forgotten what it means. Not only that, there's controllers, governments, that are purposely controlling you. They don't want you to know about your past <clears throat> because you would not comply. You wouldn't. Society would be a lot different if we had the truth. But the truth is that the controllers know that these events occur. And that's the secret. And the secret is cosmic catastrophe. And the problem is that we don't have very little information. So I'm going to bring it down until real recent time. What you're looking at is, since the Holocene warm, and we're going to get to uh, what happened right before this warming. Because right before the 11,000 year warming, now this is after 65% of all megafauna on one side of the earth went missing in a week. That happened right back here. And if, if you think the mammoths died off here, you've been lied to too. There have been mammoths that are found that made it as far as 6,800 years ago. But they don't mention that because it doesn't fit the story. But you can get the paper. We're up in Siberia. The mammoths were essentially extinct, extinct back in the 11,000 year event. But eight or ten varieties made it. Most of them were gone by 9,000 years ago, and the last one ever found was supposedly dated to 6,800 years before present. That's pretty amazing because I'm sure almost all, none of all of you think mammoths were extinct back then at 11.5, right? Except Greg Allison, he knows. Right, wow. Yeah. So, and guess what? Fairies and elves are real. <laughs> Homo floriensis proved it, and then we found a second species this month, also in an island complex of tiny people. So, if elves and fairies are real, giants are real, probably. And we know the Smithsonian has been hiding mummies and tall people, and Dana Stanford wouldn't tell me anything. <laughs> but now let's go back to the ruse and the misinformation that everyone has in the world. This is burning up. And this is temperature going up. 6,000 years ago, it was warmer. And in fact, we've been, ra we've been steadily cooling for the last around 3,400 years. So after the peak in the Minoan Warm, it's been dropping off. And this is pretty much the same environment. Now, right here, I want to give you some more in interesting information. At the end of the Maunder and the Dalton Minimum, which are these two spike downs, 
the mini ice age and the Dalton minimum, <coughs> there's a cycle called the Donskar Oeschger cycle that only happens every thousand plus years that kicked in right here. And many people, including myself, believe that explains this uptick into the solar max. And it was a mistake.